Today we've got something super practical for you. We're going to tackle the task of replacing a dead or faulty battery on your MacBook Pro from 2015 upwards. Now I know technical stuff can sound intimidating, but don't worry, uh, we are going to break it down step by step and you will have your MacBook back up and running in no time. Now the tools you're going to need are pretty basic. We'll get the battery out of the package, get the screwdrivers, a spudger or plastic opening tool. You can find these online, sometimes come with the replacement battery. We need some wet wipes. Some sort of adhesive spray remover. Ten screws in total. Unscrew the screws. Carefully lift the bottom cover. Now locate the battery. That's usually right in the center. Gently disconnect the battery cable. And then you also have to disconnect the trackpad. Then lift the flex cable. Start off by spraying the self at adhesive remover on the battery detach the battery from the chassis just be gentle when prying out the battery and that you don't puncture the battery which may be hazardous to you Carefully remove the old battery. Take your time and don't rush this part. And we would have to dispose of the battery in a safe manner. Still work on removing um, a few bits of adhesive. At this point, you get yourself the wet wipes and a generous amount of adhesive spray remover and work your way on the last bits of adhesive still on the chassis. Once you're satisfied, it's clean enough you get hold of the replacement battery. Time to install the new battery. Place it in the same position as the old one and reconnect the battery. Peel the plastic cover over it. Make sure you press the battery firmly to the chassis and then peel off the remaining plastic. Once that's done, start working on the flex cable. You line all the flex cable and then ensure they make contact to the main logic board. So just be patient. As you could see, there's still no power, even though we've connected the battery. What that means is that the battery may need some charge. So make sure you go over the flex cables again. Once you're satisfied, get the back panel and then cover the MacBook Pro. In reverse order, you put back all the screws, all the 10 screws, and make sure there are no gaps. Carefully secure the back panel with all the screws. Then connect the main part to it. Now you can see straight away that green light. We suggest that we could see power going through it. So just keep pressing on the power button a few times. Hey, eventually we've got some power coming in. Good job done. And there you have it. You've just saved yourself some serious cash by doing this at home. 
If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, happy fixing.